What's up now friends? Welcome to the video. In today's video I'm just going to be um, taking off this orange set because I decided that it's just way too bright and it's not going to work for the design I decided to do. So first I'm filing it down and then we decided to clip it off so I'm just using a carbide to file this nail design down and make it thinner before I clip the set with um, some clippers. I just switched to this bit. This is just a small bit. Um, we actually sell this on the Nail Throne, so you guys can check our site for some e-file bits that we sell for debulking and finish filing. Okay, I'm just grabbing some clippers. These I'm just using, and I'm just gonna clip this side um, below where her natural nail is so that I don't accidentally make them too short or anything, so it doesn't hurt or anything. I'm just clipping off her natural nail. And this will also clip the enhancement, and you can see right there, it just comes right off. Then I'm just gonna file these down some more, debulk, and try and remove all this orange before um, we go in and reapply. So I, uh, I'm just shortening this and filing. So you guys can just watch.
to go in with a hand file and just file the nails down a little bit as well as shape her free edge. After I filed them down, I'm just going to go ahead and do my cuticle prep. I'm using a cuticle pusher. We sell these on Nail Throw, and I'm just going back and forth uh, at her cuticle area to push the skin. You need to remove all the skin before you do any kind of uh, application of acrylic or gel, or your nails will lift. The tool I'm using here is from Get Buff Nails. So I'm just going around the cuticle area um, down the left side, and then I will reverse my tool and go down the right side. This is just a diamond tool that will get rid of some of that um, cuticle skin. It's really gentle and feels kind of nice, actually. I will link this in my, my description box down below. This cuticle tool is also from Get Buff Nails, and it just gets really nice into the cuticle area to really get up anything you missed with your other tools. And I'm just going down the one side and I will reverse it. But first I'm just going over and removing some more of this orange. Okay, skipping ahead. I've applied stiletto tips from Glitter Balls, and I'm just clipping off the very tip of the pointy part of the nails to make these into a nice tapered shape and then I'm just using a sanding band to go around um, and blend the tip a little bit and I also got my glove stuck to that so I'm just going to remove that as well. Before we go in I just um, cleansed the nail, removed all the dust and now I'm going to use my dehydrator and my Glitter Bells acid free primer just on the nail plate. I'm picking up Glamour Green and Liquid Silver on my brush, placing it near the cuticle area, and I'm just going to blend this down. This doesn't need to really look like anything because this is a abstract acrylic design, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, you could really use any colors. I just went with like a green because I wanted it to go well with the chameleon flakes I picked. So I think that this design always looks really good in like darker colors, like purple and uh, dark blue and stuff. So just really do whatever you want and see how it turns out. So I'm just going to go along and do that same thing on all the nails before moving on with the design. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into the black, and I'm actually going into the premixed glitter that's called Poison. It's really, really pretty. It's like blue and green and purple and dark all mixed. And then I'm going to go in with my Chameleon Flakes from Nail Throne and place that on top and wherever you want to place them. And then I'm going in with, um, what's it called, uh, Cosmic Crush, 
and also placing that places. I'm leaving spaces at the tip area for, um, I want like a clear space there because I'm gonna be adding glitter. So I'm gonna do a close up for you guys so you can see what I was up to. Again, the black and the poison, and then I'm going in with my chameleon flakes on top. They'll just stick right onto where you place them. And then I'm gonna pick up some of that Cosmic Crush and mix that all in. And this can look sloppy and messy because it's going to um, not really matter in the end. And then again, keep some clear space. pick up soft white and some um, chrome and I'm just gonna run it through the nail and now it's just gonna create a cool kind of effect it's just gonna create like a foggy effect and it looks really pretty so again you can choose any color chrome you want I went with like a white chrome that has gold in it and stuff just something different and pretty something that'll stand out on top of the design And then to fill in all the clear spaces, I picked up silver tinsel and I just placed that into that separate area. I thought that that would be fun to use. So we also have the golden tinsel and the 24 karat tinsel. I feel like the golden tinsel would look really cool as well because it's actually more like an iridescent look, but with like a gold tint to it, it's really pretty. So yeah, this design's fun because you can play around and just kind of do whatever you want. It always looks really pretty in the end. So after I've applied all that, I'm gonna encapsulate the design uh, and go in with my glass slippers. Placing that at the cuticle area, pushing down, and I'm going to encapsulate and create an apex. Um, and then I will do a little bit closer for you guys to see. After encapsulation, I'm just going to finish my house. I'm using the same bit I used earlier from Nail Throne. This is nice and thin and tapered, so you can go under the nail and around the cuticle area with this and get nice and close. Um, and I'm just using this to debulk the nail because I made sure that these were kind of thin so I wouldn't have to file too much with because I did remove and do a lot of filing already. So I just wanted to do just gentle filing now because um, my wrists were getting sore. 
So this is another bit from Nail Throne, and I'm on, just using this to debulk the nail so that um, I can go ahead and use my hand file. Then I go in with a hand file around the cuticle, oh sorry, around the sides first. Um, I go in at the sides, make sure to um, taper the sides, and then I'm going around the cuticle area and up and down, keeping my apex in place. These aren't super long or anything, so um, I'm just filing them and making sure they're nice and even. And going up and down at the tip, so that I'm just going to file along with um, the 180 grit file from Glitterbells. I love this shape so much. It's really, really pretty and it complements her hands. So after that, I definitely wipe off all the dust and um, now I'm just adding crystals. So uh, I'm just adding some effortless adhesion glue from Glitter Belts and then I'm just applying some emerald colored crystals and some crystal clear and just doing a little design. I'm gonna let those dry and then we're gonna go in and top coat the nails. So I'm applying my Glitter Balls No Wipe Top Coat on all the nails. Um, and then I'm going to cure them. Here's a close up a little bit so you guys can see what that looks like. Top coat really makes everything. And using that soft white with the chrome um, will add kind of a foggy look in certain spots, which is why I said that it wouldn't really matter how you did your um, set and how uh, perfect you made it because, like I said, it's all abstract in the end and it looks really pretty. After I have top coated all her nails, I have her cure in the lamp and then I have her sit with her hands out for about a minute before I go in with my cuticle oil just so you don't accidentally, you know, do anything to the top coat. I want to make sure it's like super, super cooled down and cured. So I'm going in with my cuticle oil, I'm going to rub it in and then I actually have her go wash her hands before I take my photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this set. This is how they turned out in the end. I absolutely love them so much. I hope you guys do as well. And make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check my description box for everything that I used. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.